hello how you doing kings and queens or anybody that may pop on this video i hope the lighting is good it's dark outside i'm having to put extra light in my room uh, so as you see the title how uh, pornography rewires the brain physically and spiritually in a man how pornography rewires the brain physically and spiritually in a man and then later on after i finish this the first part i'm going to talk about how a man can overcome pornography and i'm going to have bible verses um, and then i'm going to have a website that man you can go and tap on or uh, put tap on the website and get you a free guide on how and i have literature and i also have a man journal at the end of that guide that will guide you on your sexual uh ways on how to control your urges and how to control your sexual life first i want to start with how pornography rewires a man's brain physically okay and i have my notes pornography impacts the brain in a familiar way to act addictive substances see it acts, it acts like a, a substance like someone who's on a drug addictive substances creating a cycle of dependency and altering the brain function over time here's how dopamine release when you watch pornography your brain releases dopamine a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and a reward this rush the dopamine creates a high much like what happens when someone uses drugs however over time the brain becomes desensitized to normal dopamine levels requiring requiring more intense or frequent exposure to maintain the same pleasurable effect this leads to a cycle of, of addiction. Number two, desensitization. Desensitization over time as you become accustomed more to pornography. To pornography, your brain becomes less sensitive to dopamine. This means the initial, one moment, This means the initial excitement fades and you may seek more extreme content experience. The same level of arousal. This desensitization process reduces the brain's ability to enjoy other forms of pleasure like healthy intimacy or everyday activities because they don't stimulate the same as dopamine response. Third, I have altered brain pathways. It makes the brains altered pathways. Pornography creates new neural pathways that reinforce the habit. These pathways act like deep grooves in the brain, making it easier to fall back into the same behavior. This rewiring makes it more difficult to break free from the addiction. As the brain has become conditioned to expect and crave the stimulation that pornography provides. Fourth, I have impaired judgment and self-control. Regularly, consumption of pornography weakens the parenteral cortex. The part of the brain responsible for decision making, impulse control, and discipline. As a result, individuals may find it harder to resist temptation, leading to poor choices, choices and compulsive behavior. We see this with P. Diddy. Now I would like to talk about how pornography affects you spiritual men. From a spiritual perspective, pornography has deep harmful effects that go beyond the physical brain. Number one, it separates you from God. Pornography is considered a sin because it distorts, distorts God's design for 
sexual, which is meant to be enjoyed within the confines of marriage. When you engage in this sin, it creates a spiritual barrier between you and God. Sin brings guilt, shame, and feelings of unworthiness, and all of which can distance you from a relationship with God. In Isaiah 59 and 2, it says, But your iniquities have separated you from your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear. This separation isn't because God no longer loves you, but because sin naturally leads to a feeling of disconnection. Number two, it corrupts your understanding of love and intimacy. Pornography distorts the way of you view love in relationships. Instead of seeing sex as sacred, loving act between a husband and wife, it becomes a selfish lust driven pursuit. This distorts how you view your spouse or future spouse, seeing them as objects rather than people to love and honor. Spiritually, this affects how you engage in relationships both with others and with God. Ephesians 5 and 3 reminds us, but among you there must not be even a hint of sexual immorality or of any kind of impurity, or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. Number three, it weakens your spiritual resolve. When you are caught in the cycle of pornography, addiction, it weakens your spiritual resolve to resist temptation. The Bible warns against letting sin take root in your life. <clears throat> as it will make you more susceptible to further sin. In Romans 6 and 16, it says, Don't you know that when you offer yourselves to someone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one you obey? Pornography can enslave you to sinful habits, making it harder to live a life that honors God. Number four. It diminishes your spiritual identity. Pornography attacks your sense of worth and identity as a child of God. You may feel shame, guilt, self-hatred, believing that you are unworthy of God, God's love and forgiveness. This can make it difficult to approach God in prayer or worship. Reinforcing feelings of separation. However, in Christ, your identity is restored. 1 Corinthians 6 and 11 says, But you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. It is important to remember that no matter how pornography affects you, spiritually or physically, God's grace is always available to heal and restore you. So we see in this summary, it, pornography rewires the brain by creating addictive cycles that desensitize pleasure and it distorts relationships and weaken self-control. Spiritually, it dis distances you from God, corrupts your understanding of love weakens your spiritual resolve and can diminish your sense of worth. But however, through spiritual growth and prayer, accountability and God's grace, healing and freedom are entirely possible. Next, I want to go down, people of God or anybody who pops on this video, I want to speak next regarding on um, another part of this video on men, how you can overcome. Now this is, I have my notes written down here on my phone, give me just a minute, on how you can break free. 
I have scriptures on how you can break free. I will list them at the bottom of the description in the my YouTube channel. Okay? But next I want to talk about overcoming um, unpractical ways. I think I might have this at the bottom. Just give me just a moment. I apologize. Because we can all overcome. I mean, it talks about overcoming. Overcoming porn and alcohol. Yes. You know, a pornography is an addiction like, an, like a drug or alcohol. And a lot of people don't understand it. It's actually worse than alcohol. Uh, because it is um, a spirit you can't you can't you can't quench that thirst of the lust that's inside of you man okay now I'm gonna speak on overcoming pornography um, with men regarding men first number one and this is practical ways I'm gonna have the Bible Bible verses listed in the bottom of the description I'm gonna speak on how you can overcome a porn addiction um, spiritually, you know, it's combination. Of, it's a com combination of spiritual and psychology and practical strategies, especially in this world today. And here's number one: acknowledge the problem and seek forgiveness. Awareness: the first step is recognize that pornography addiction is a real issue. Many men minimize the problem or feel too ashamed to admit it. Acknowledge it and honestly and without denial. Next, seek God's forgiveness for Christian men. Understanding an addiction to pornography is a sin against God's design for purity is critical. Confession and asking God for forgiveness is a key spiritual step to begin healing the process. Read about that regarding 1 1 John 1 and 9. Number two, understanding the uh, physical and psychology impact. Rewiring the brain. Porn addiction rewires the brain re reward system, causing desensitization to normal pleasure and creating a need for more explicit content to achieve this, the same level of excitement. Negative effects, porn addiction can damage relationships, hinder spiritual growth, and cause anxiety, guilt, and shame. Recognizing these effects help create urgency for change. Number three, build a strong support system. Accountability partners. Find a trusted friend, pastor, or mentor to act as an accountability partner sharing your struggle with someone who understands and supports you in your journey and crucial that it is crucial support groups consider joining support groups such as celebrate recovery or pure desire which focus on healing from sexual addictions online platforms number four create practical boundaries and remove temptations mean install filters use internet filters or account for accountability software like covenant eyes accountability to number two to you covenant eyes or uh, and accountability number two the what le the letters y-o-u or quest questio questody Dio, I'm sorry, it's spelled Q-U-S-T-O-D-I-O. These tools monitor your online activity and send reports to your accountability partners. Limit access. If certain apps, websites, or devices trigger temptation, remove them or put strict limitations in place. For example, keep your phone out of the bedroom or avoid using the internet late at night. Next, replace idle time. A lot of pornography consumption happens when men are bored or stressed. Fill your time with productive activities like exercising or hobbies or spending time with family or friends. 
Number five, engage in spiritual mental renewal. Prayer and Bible study strengthens your relationship with God by spending time in prayer and immersing yourself in scripture. Meditate on verses that deal with purity and self-control like, I'm going to give you some verses, write them down, like 1 Corinthians 10.13 and Philippians 4 and 8. Meditate on those verses. Next, fasting. That's a good one. Fasting, maybe a three-day fast, liquid fast. <clears throat> fasting is a powerful tool to break strongholds, and that's what most of you men need to do. So you need to do a three-day fast or get on your knees and pray, take it before God, and God will give you how many days to do. With these kind of strongholds, men, you have to do a fasting. You can't do it without a fasting. But to break the strongholds. Consider fasting for social, from social media technology for a period to reset, reset your mind and break your dependency on visual stimulation. Christian counsel. Seek professional counsel, particularly from a Christian counselor who can help address the root causes of addiction, which as an emotional wounds, trauma, or loneliness. Now, you have to fast from your cell phones, man, because there's so many Instagram models. There's so many Instagram models that show their bodies. And not on that, ladies nowadays, they dress half naked. They, they don't go out of house without putting on, they, go, they, they can't go up without a house without being half naked. And every time you look around, there's a butt cheek here and the breast hanging out. I hate the summertime and really it's any time. Women dresses like, you know, whores. That's back in the day. They don't understand when I was growing up that that's what the Bible calls a whore. And back in the day, that's how the street women and street walkers dressed. And that's how the women is dressed. And now a lot of times when women you see dressed like that, even women that's nice or going to church, they're, they're unhealed. A woman of God is supposed to cover herself. She's supposed to dress modest. Most of these women, men, women, I don't hate you. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. You all are hurt just dressing like that. You need attention like that. I mean, you are unhealed. Your father wasn't in your life enough or in your life ever to tell you how to dress and to cover yourself as a female. Okay, next I have... Number six, shift your mindset and reframe from identity, Re meaning renew your mind. Romans 12 and 2 says to be retransformed by the renewing of our mind. This involves changing the way you think about pornography, sex and intimacy. Instead of seeing porn as harmless, recognize its destructive power on your mind and soul and relationships. Pornography is not a sex that we're supposed to do. Pornography is straight from Satan. The, per, the correct way to have sex is the man on top like Adam and Eve and, and the woman under the man face to face. Because back in the Bible days, that's the correct way. Because back in the Bible days, to know, before the man married the woman to know that she hadn't been with, a, been with another man, they had to get, when they, when they, when they had sex, they, they came together after the marriage the family and the priest and the both families stood outside the room waiting till they got through having sex because when a woman first has sex for the first time we by, with a man, we bleed out. That's with every woman. So in the Bible days, even today, that's how you find out a woman has never been with a man. So in the Bible days, they had to stand outside after the ceremony, after the man have sex with the woman to make sure that that was a pure woman. She never been with another man because it's hard to find, figure, you know, have to figure. It's hard to figure out if the woman slept with a man or not. But the only way to find out she never been with a man is because the blood when they have sex, the man enter her for the first time. The blood the, it opens a woman womb for the first time, and, and a woman we bleed out, and this blood goes on the sheets, and when the blood enters on the sheets and the woman had to bring the, sh the blood and the blood the sheets with the blood on it out out to everyone to make sure that she was pure woman she for the first time she was had never been with a man and that's how it uh, is was done in the bible days when it lets them know that woman he was marrying a woman that was pure she was a uh, she was uh, a virgin to uh, you know so that's how they figured those things out in the bible if she had not bled out, they would have stoned her because they would have known she'd been with another man. All right, so that's just let you know that's the right way to have sex because a woman had to be under the man, man on top of the woman 
face to face and, and the woman had to bleed out on top of the sheets from the bottom the sheets was under her so that, you, that lets you know that's a proper way to have sex I want to go next to positive visual 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 sorry positive visualization a future without porn what would your life be like men with healthier relationships stronger faith and a clearer mind focus on the rewards of freedom not the pleasures of the addiction number seven replace porn with healthy habits exercise physical activities Physical exercise is not only good for your body, but also helps relieve stress and release uh, endorphins, which are, are natural mood boosters. It's a healthy outlet for frustration and boredom. Serve others, you know, find a way to serve your community or church. Helping others ha can take your focus off your struggles and give you the sense of purpose which porn addiction often steals. Track your number number eight, track your progress and celebrate milestones, men. Set small goals. Start by setting manageable goals like staying porn free for a week, then two weeks, and so on. Each milestone achieved is a victory. Reflect on progress. Keep a journal of thoughts and prayers and that's what I have for you this downloadable uh, ebook has a man journal in the back where you can write it has questions to write down your thoughts it's going to give you questions to write down your thought you can download it at Christians Christians got an S on it Christians sexual health dot com and that's going to be in the description you get your free guide it said, keep a journal of the thoughts, prayers, and progress. Reflect on how God is working in your life. And recognize how much stronger you're, you become over time, man. Next, prepare the, for setbacks and rely on grace. Now, you can't just fall back into sex. That's got to be planned well off. You know, some people say, oh, it's hard. No, it's not hard. Flee. The Bible says flee from fornication. Those are, that's the scripture. I'm going to have these scriptures down below. I mean, you have to run. That mean run. That don't mean to drag your foot. It mean to run out of that bedroom, men. So you want be in fornication and in trouble with God. Next, accept slip ups. Uh, it says understanding that overcoming addiction is a journey. They said slip ups, but you don't want to be falling into too much slip ups. Uh, it says, and there may be setbacks. Don't let one mistake. Uh, put you into a hopeless now don't let it put you down and think you can't come back to God you are you can always come back to God but try your hardest okay you got to come to God and ask for forgiveness if it's a slip-up he said don't let one mistake spiral into hopelessness or giving up don't give up because that's what the devil wants you to do man instead seek God's grace and forgiveness and continue moving forward next recommit after a setback, recommit to your recovery plan immediately. Now, I'm not saying this so you can slip up and say, oh, I had a setback. No, try your hardest because only God knows your heart. If you didn't, if you know it was, God knows if it wasn't a slip up. And he's going to hold you accountable. And you don't know what consequences God might give you for doing that. It really has to be a setback or a slip up. Okay, so recommit to your, your to a recovery plan immediately. Seek accountability and prayer for others to set back, to get back on track. Next, focus, this number 10, focus on long-term freedom, not just short-term wins. Maintain accountability. Even after a period of success, maintain accountability. Continue practicing boundaries. Lust and pornography and reoccurring temptations but will a solid long-term strategy can help you maintain freedom. Renew purpose. Okay, renew your purpose. After regaining victory over porn, continue to study God's Word. Alright, I hope this bless you. Everything will be down in the description. Stay blessed and I'll see you soon.